Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 17th of October 2011. The X-ray background on the sun has risen to above the sea level, but as yet we've had no major flares from the sun, which I find quite remarkable. But before we get to why that's the case, let's deal with our trivia question. At least one, and possibly as many as five, of the following statements are untrue. Please identify all those statements that are not true. On this date, one, Kepler first observed the supernova that would be eventually named after him. Two, an estimated F4 tornado hit central London. Three, a flood of beer in a London street drowned eight people and killed a ninth from alcohol poisoning. Eight of the victims were women. Four, the Loma Prieta earthquake affected the San Francisco Bay Area. Five, all of those first four statements are true. Six, none of those first five statements are true. The answer will be given at the end. As I mentioned earlier, the X-ray background has crept above the C1 level, so by definition any blip is a C flare. So I've given up counting them. But you'll notice that the X-ray background has nearly doubled in the last 48 hours. And so let's take a look at the active regions and see why that is the case. Currently we have 10 officially numbered regions on the disk, plus 2 as yet unnumbered regions. Regions 13, 12, 13, 13, 13, 18, 13, 20 and 13, 22 are all very near to the west limb and we really can't see what's going on there. Besides, they'll probably be gone by tomorrow and not be affecting our space weather until they return in a couple of weeks time. So we'll start with region 1314 in the northwest quadrant. This region seems to have grown in the last day. You can see that there are more trailer spots and they look larger than they were yesterday. Next we move to region 1319. Now that has certainly grown quite a lot in the last uh, 24 hours and has produced six of the sea flares that we've seen. So this is one of the major contributors to the increase in activity that we've seen over the last few days. Below it in the southern hemisphere is region 1316. Now this is one of the larger regions on the disk and has yet to produce any significant flaring. There was one of the sea flares from it, but it's not really been changing a great deal. The leader spot seems to have decayed slightly and is breaking up, however the trailer spot seems to have developed some more. So that region's probably about to push overall. The mystery of uh, region 1321 seems to have been cleared up overnight. It seems, as I had suspected, that Noah had mislabeled the uh, latitude and longitude of the region, and in fact it's at south 14 and east 37 today. Of more interest are the new regions that are coming over the northeast limb. There was a faint region that came over a couple of days ago that I mentioned, but is still there and as yet unnumbered. But there's also a couple of very large spots coming over the east limb as we speak. And I suspect there are going to be more spots yet behind that. So this is an area to keep our eye on and is also probably contributing to the increase in the x-ray background. Now let's take a look at how these regions have developed over the last 48 hours using the sunspot and magnetic movies from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. And here again I think the place to concentrate on is region 1319, which seems to have been the region that has changed the most in the last 48 hours. I'm not going to bother to try to show the AIA data. Again, we have only a small fraction of what should be there in the database. But in the uh, X-ray imager from GOES, uh, I think the thing to look at here is the interconnections between all the regions. And I've sketched just a few of them on top of the uh, X-ray image here. It's these interactions that cancel magnetic field and can cause activity. So it's worth keeping an eye on how they develop. In the Soho Coronagraph movies, we can see that the parade of coronal mass ejections has continued. However, during the first part of the 48-hour sequence here, they're mainly above the northeast limb, and now they seem to be predominantly from above the west limb. Does this mean that the regions that are on or over the west limb are becoming more active, while those coming over the northeast limb are becoming less so? The ACE data shows us that the temperature of the solar wind has remained relatively constant, as has the density, but the velocity has been slowly decaying as the influence of that coronal hole passes by the Earth. The high energy electron flux at geosynchronous altitudes seems to be remaining relatively stable after a little dip a couple of days ago, and as we've had no major flares, we still have not experienced a proton event. The auroral zone seems a lot quieter than it was yesterday, and this is consistent with the KP index, which has dropped to very low levels. Also, NOAA has not issued any space weather alerts in the last 24 hours. So in summary then, the x-ray background is at the C1 level, the sunspot number has risen to 158, 
The radio sun intensity has risen to 151 solar flux units. The solar wind speed has dropped to 370 km per second with a density of about 2 protons per cubic centimetre and geospace conditions are considered very quiet. I'm going to go out on a limb here with my 24 hour forecast and increase the probability of both M flares and X flares. So I'm going to say that C flares are certain, M flares are likely and X flares are now possible. The sunspot number will remain high, we will continue to get coronal mass ejections, the solar wind speed will edge lower and it's unlikely that we'll get a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours. From the composite coronal image we can see that there is yet more activity due to come over the northeast limb over the next few days. There is nothing in the south at the moment visible. The answer to our trivia question is there is one statement that is incorrect and that is statement 6 that all of the previous five statements are untrue. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.